all right guys welcome back in the previous video we made our first custom interactive shell so we created this function of start turtle and basically created the framework where we can type list and all the clients that are connected with a server.py file will be displayed but we haven't actually created all these functions we have just called them at the appropriate places so in this video we are actually going to create this list connections function the first thing we are going to do is actually write a comment which is going to tell us what this piece of code is going to do and inside this I'm just going to write display all current active connections with the client so let's create a function and we are going to name this function obviously list connections so let me just copy it and paste it over here put a colon then inside this function the first thing we are going to do is create a variable let's call it results and I'm going to give it a value of an empty string now all of this output that you are seeing right here that for example this first select ID then friend a and all of this output is actually going to be stored in this results variable and after we store all of this output in results we are just going to print it out now that we have created the results variable the next thing we are going to do is actually loop through all connections that are stored in our all connections list and go through them one by one and check whether the connection is active or not if the connection is not active then we are going to delete them from our all connections list but if the connection is active we are going to add them to this results string and print them on a server.py file we are just going to create a for loop and we are going to loop through all of the connections in the all connections list and before going inside this for loop let's actually create a variable called select id and we'll give it a value of zero so what is this variable of select id and what we are doing with this so if we just scroll up a little bit if you remember in the previous video we talked about how every client will get a select id so that when we have to select a particular client instead of writing select friend a we can just write select one or select two and we'll be able to connect to that client actually let me change this to zero one and two because every coding language and even python the list starts from zero and not from one so we are going to use that to our advantage and actually instead of the select id we can use something known as enumerate this comes in uh, intermediate python but i'm just going to explain it to you over here so instead of increasing this select id every time this for loops execute so what we would be typically doing is we are just going to write select id and then we can write something like plus equals to one and every time this for loops executes the select id is going to just increase by one so but instead of that what we can do is just use an enumerate function so we can just write enumerate over here and put this all connections inside this enumerate function and then we can just put a i comma over here and what this is going to do that every time our for loops iterates that is it goes through the all connections list it is going to increase the value of i and when you use enumerate the value of i is automatically zero so we can remove the select id from over here and inside this for loop we are going to write the try and accept code why are we trying to write this try and accept code this is because we are trying to see whether our connection is still active or not so for example let's say your friend a was initially connected to your server but now he has shut down his computer so his connection right now is not active and that client is actually not connected to our server right now so we are going to just send a dummy connection request to his computer and check whether the connection is active or not we are just going to write con that is a connection dot send and inside this we are just going to write str.encode that is we are going to send some kind of bytes to his computer and we'll just send him an empty string and then after we send him an empty string we are going to get something back so we can just write con dot receive just to check what we have received and inside this we receive some kind of byte chunks we are just going to write 20480 and this number is pretty high because we don't really know how much data we are going to be getting back that is why this byte chunk size is pretty big now if we don't receive anything back from the client this connection.receive function is actually going to throw an exception and go to the accept part of the code inside the accept of part of the code we are just going to delete the connection from the all connections list and the all address list so to do that we just have to type in delete all connections 
and inside this we we'll just type in i and this is going to delete that specific element from the list and we are going to do the same thing for all address we we'll just type in delete all address and then i and this is going to delete our connection from both of these lists now we are just going to write the continue keyword and the function of this continue keyword is that it ignores all of the code that is below it and it goes to the next iteration of the loop this continue statement will only be executed if the connection is empty and we are deleting all the connections so it's only going to be executed when we are in the except part of the code but what happens if we actually sent a dummy connection request and we got something back if we got something back we are going to store that in our results variable so we are going to type in results and then inside this string we are going to store the value of i that is of the select id and then we are going to just give it some spaces and then after that we are just going to print out the string so we are just going to type in all addresses because this contains all the IP addresses and the ports and inside this we are going to choose the specific connection that is this I connection and the IP address is stored in the first element of the list so that's why we are just going to type in zero and after that I'm just going to copy and paste this again because I also want to include the port over here and now instead of zero we can just put in one and we'll just put another plus and then we are going to change the line over here so for example what it's this is actually going to print will look something like this so let me just put a comment in and for example let's say the first client is being displayed so it's just going to say one and then it's just going to show some kind of IP address obviously I'm just typing it out randomly it's of like three digits and stuff and then it's just going to show a port of let's say 9999 so this is the format in which results is going to be displayed and then it's going to change the line so now that we have stored the result in our results variable the next thing we want to do is actually display all of them at the same time so it's just going to loop through all the connections and check whether the connection is active or not and it's going to save them in the results variable one by one and after this we just want to print them all at the same time so we'll just come out of this for loop and just below over here we're just going to print something like uh, let's make it a little more fancy so i'm just going to write clients and put a dash 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 over here then change the line put n and then we are just going to print the results and now we have completed the list connections function so let me just go ahead and explain to you what happened in this function so we first created a list connection function and we declared an empty variable with an empty string and call it results then we created a for loop that's going to loop through all the connections and we use the keyword of enumerate so that the IDs that is the select IDs get stored in this I variable. Then we sent a dummy connection to our client. So for example, if it is your friend A, we sent this empty string to your friend A and if we got back some kind of data, then it goes to this results line. Then it takes the I that is the select ID and adds some space and then it prints out the clients that are your friend's A's IP address and the port address and then it goes to the new line and then it goes to the second client that is the friend B and then it goes again and again it checks whether the client is active or not and the same thing happens but if let's say for your client 1 let's say it didn't receive anything back then it goes to this except part of the code and deletes that connection and address from a list because now that connection is useless and we don't need to actually store it in the results variable so we'll just use the keyword of continue and it's going to ignore this results line and after that because we have stored all of the clients data in this results variable we can just come out of this for loop and print all of the client results so guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to actually create this get target function so i'll see you in the next video